Hey guys, you're watching The Crypto Future. My name is Teddy. And today I want to talk about the SEC and the recent filings they did on the nine um, cryptos that they identified as securities and really are going after the managers of um, Coinbase, right? They identified one manager and three other partners in this case. And um, they called out nine of these securities in this inside insider trading um, case as securities. So quickly want to check this article and why is it relevant, Teddy? Why are we talking about this, right? So the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission in, in its first insider trading case literally declared nine digital tokens as securities in its ongoing practice of defending its crypto oversight through the enforcement actions. Why is this important? Because in 2020, right, December 22nd, the SEC charged Ripple and two executives, right? Hey, you guys are conducting $1.3 billion uh, dollars of unregistered securities offering. They said XRP was not a security, right? A, a registered security with the SEC. Now, with this new information coming from Coinbase and the manager that was corrupt over there doing the insider trading, those nine cryptos they're considering as securities. I feel that the SEC literally is at the point that they've identified the way to win the cases against cryptos now that they're not okay with. So in this, they're talking about the tokens listed, uh, Flexus, AMP, RLY, DDX, XYO, RGT, LCX, Power, POWR, DFX, and CROM, right? These are the ones that the, um, they identified as the cryptocurrencies as securities, and they typically don't do this, guys. They literally do not do this. This is like the first time that they've identified cryptocurrencies as securities without uh, and they say it here without charging the issuers, right? They hadn't really charge anybody. Um, they just went over to this corrupt insider trading uh, manager and these nine securities they identified that he did some insider trading with and they already called them securities right off the bat. So quite interesting, quite interesting because back then that was 1.3 billion. So now these nine... I think it only came out to 1.5 million. It wasn't even that much that um, the SEC is is uh, recovering from this insider trading, right? I believe they said that it makes up 1.5 million. So how desperate, how desperate, I wonder, they, they are being in order to uh, go after this guy for 1.5 1 million when they literally have the ripple case with 1.3 billion unregistered securities that they're concerned about you know you got to pick your battles right and i feel like this is a battle where the sec is softly telling us hey we may have lost this why is this important because i i actually looked it up on stream today and you will see an analysis by the wall street journal found that the sec has prevailed in 90 percent of the cases that it's brought to court right 90 percent of these cases the sec actually wins that's crazy that's crazy those numbers are so stacked against xrp and now let's assume uh, this is an assumption and by the way guys none of this is financial advice i'm just merely talking about the news right um let's us let's assume that <laughs> somehow uh xrp does completely fine and they win they win the court case. If they win the court case, I think that's the that's that 10% that the um, SEC is going to lose. And then the other 90%, they're figuring out the proper way to go after um, cryptos by already, already declaring them as security. So they're ready for the next leg up when things go south. And they won't have another XRP situation. So I'm not saying, hey, uh, these they're now going to go after all these crypto companies. No, they're actually only going after um, the insider that was trading um, illegally, right? Insider trading illegally. Um, the, real, the real thing is, in this lawsuit, they just flat out say those cryptos are securities, which they've never done before. They don't say it's unregistered. They're not even talking about... Um, the 
uh, amount, right? So it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting to see where this is going to go. But I do feel they're changing the way they're identifying uh, cryptos and uh, really telling telling us, hey, crypto is already a security. You don't we don't have to register it or figure it out. We're already saying these nine are unless those nine did really register to be a security. I don't think so. I think they're just flat out saying all cryptos are securities. But let's see. Let's see what happens. What do you guys think about this? Please do let me know. Um, I do read the comments. I will heart the ones that I like. But guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. Please, please smash that like button and give me a subscribe if you like this type of content. Um, and I'll catch you next time.